Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Manohar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create and manage Microsoft Entra groups using My Groups Access Panel. By default, the Self Service Group Management feature is enabled in Microsoft Entra ID. The Self Service Group Management feature enables users to create and manage their own security or Microsoft 365 groups in Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra users have the ability to control and manage their own groups. If you have restricted users from accessing the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, they won't be able to create and manage groups using the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. In that case, users can use My Groups Access Panel to create and manage groups. Type myapps.microsoft.com and hit enter key. Tap users username and click on next. Enter users password and click on sign in. On my apps page, click on this drop down menu and select my groups. This will open the my groups access panel in a new tab. In the previous video, we demonstrated how a standard user can create security or Microsoft 365 groups using Microsoft Entra Admin Center. This time, we want to create group using the My Groups Access Panel. Just a reminder that we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. On the Overview tab, users have the option to create a new security group or Microsoft 365 group. First. Let's create a Microsoft 365 group. Under Collaborate, click on M365 group. Enter the name you would like to assign to the group. I'll name it M365 group 1. I have given name as well as I have added the description. Now select the policy type for the group. If you select the first option, then anyone can join this security group. No permission is needed from the group owner. With second option, Owner approval is required to join the group. Users can submit a request to join the group and the group owner can either accept or deny these requests. Third option is for the closed group. No one can request to have access to the group with this option. Users must be manually added by the group owner or admins. Depending on your needs, you can choose the option that defines the group membership. For this demo, I'll choose the first option. Click Next to set up a new Microsoft 365 group. We can view the overview information for the newly created group. Click on Edit to edit the group settings. From here, you can change the group name, description and group policy type. Once you have finished modifying the group settings, click on Update. To exit the group, click Leave and to delete the group, click Delete. Click on Go Back. Let's click on Groups I Own. We can confirm that Microsoft 365 group has been created successfully. Now let's create a new security group. Click on Create Group. Choose Control Access to create a security group and click Next. Enter the name you would like to assign to this group. Now same as Microsoft 365 group, select the policy type for this security group. For this demo, I'll choose the second option which requires owner approval for joining this group. Click on Next to create a new security group. The group is created successfully. We can view the overview information for the newly created security group. Click on Edit to edit the group settings. This time, I'm going to change the group policy type. Click on this drop down menu and select the third option which says only the owner of this group and admins can add members. Once you've finished modifying the group settings, click on Update. Click on Go Back. We can confirm that security group is also created. Now select the security group we just created. Click on this three dots menu and select Add Members. Click on Add and type Joe Root. Click on Joe Root. You can choose to add this user to the group and also assign them as the group owner. It's up to your requirement. I want to add this user as an only group member. Click on Add. The user Joe Root is successfully added to the group. 
After adding member to the group, the user's name should appear in the members panel. To assign this user as a group owner, click on make owner and to remove them from the group, click remove. Click on add and again type GeoRoot. Click on GeoRoot. This time only the owner option is available since this user is already a member of this group. Click on add to make this user a group owner. Let's refresh the web page. On members tab, verify that your root is the group owner. Now go to owners tab. We can confirm that your root is listed as a group owner. We want to remove your root as we no longer need him as a group owner. Click on remove. Click on remove owner or owners. Your root is no longer listed on group owners page. Go to members. You can also remove members from the group using the same steps. Click on go back. Again select the group and click on this three dots menu. To leave a group, click on leave and to delete a group, click on delete. By following the same steps, we can also manage Microsoft 365 groups in the same way. And that's it for today's video on how to create and manage Microsoft Entra groups using my groups access panel. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.